Hi guys, today I thought we'll make a altered puzzle piece from scratch. And to make an altered puzzle piece, we need a puzzle to steal the pieces from. I already used some, as you may say. Uh, I bought my puzzle at a my grocery store actually. It was quite cheap, but if you go to a thrift shop, you probably get puzzle big puzzles for like nothing. I chose this puzzle because it has a little bit bigger puzzle pieces and we're just gonna take one from this and this is what we're gonna use today. To start off with I like to kind of make a base on the puzzle piece so that none of the puzzle piece design show through the paper that we're gonna cover it with. So we're going to start off with some gesso. I'm using the Studio, Claudine Helmuth Studio Gesso, mainly because that was the one I bought. And then you just cover your puzzle piece richly. Uh, my puzzle piece is now dry. I used my heat tool because I don't like waiting. And now we are going to put some paper on this puzzle piece. And for the paper I'm going to use this. It's one-sided flower paper. It's from the Simon's Stamp, Stamp January card kit. So this is how I do it. I put my puzzle piece on the paper where I want it. Right where I want it. Then I use my multimedium. I use the the same as the gesso, so it's, a, it's the Claudine Helmuth multimedium. Then I just cover my cover my puzzle piece with the multimedium like this um, adding a lot of multimedium so you have a firm a stick and then I just put my puzzle piece on the paper like this and let it dry. After I have let it dry a bit so that it's more stuck to the paper I take my cutting knife onto a cutting board and just cut the puzzle piece out of the paper. I leave a couple of millimeters of paper around it so that it can so I can cover the corners of the puzzle piece a little bit easier. And then I just cut out the middle of those pieces. And it doesn't have to be like perfect because you're just gonna glue the paper down anyway. And this is how it looks when I have cut it out. So now we're back on the craft sheet and we're gonna use our multimedium or any glue, modge podge, what you use. As I said, this is what I have. And you're just gonna cover your paper in the multimedium. And this is kind of to soften the paper up because you have a very, when papers are very thick, they have a tendency not to be bendable. So you start by covering it up with one layer of this multimedium so you get it a little bit wet. Then you turn the whole puzzle piece around. Gonna get very sticky when you're doing this, so that's totally okay. And this is how I do it. It might be other better ways of doing things. I do it this way. And then I just cover the corners or the, the edges of the puzzle piece with and a little bit underneath and onto the side of the paper. And now the fun begins, the really sticky thing. That is that you want to bend down the paper so it goes around your puzzle piece. And you do it a little bit at a time because you want to at the same time glue it down 
I don't know if you see how I do it, just bend the corners. And when you are satisfied with your puzzle piece, you put it away to let it dry. While our puzzle piece are drying, we are going to do something with our embellishments. Because I want to use some of the leaves from this. You will see that these are way too many leaves, but I thought I kind of fix them before I do anything else. So to begin with, I'm putting some gloves on my hands because I don't like to have inky fingers and then I'm going to use some Distress Walnut Stain ink so just going to color this I'm basically going to go around and just color this And that's the the main coloration but I like glitter I like to have a little bit of glitter so I'm gonna use uh, my mini minister and in this I have some perfect pearls uh, in heirloom gold so I'm gonna have some gold shimmer on this and then I just mixed it with some water and I'm just gonna spray some of it on top and it can have a lot of shimmer and that's how my leaves will be done. Uh, I will hit it with my heat gun so it will all be dried and then we go back designing on the puzzle piece. Now we're going to continue to make uh, our embellishments on our altered puzzle piece. To begin with I'm going to do a lot of heat embossing. So I'm covering my whole puzzle piece with the dust from this little thingy. Uh, it's from EK Success and it has dust so it will take every like fat or anything that you have on your fingers or any static will go away with that powder and it, you will get a better embossed image. To begin with we're going to stamp the Hello Spring and we're going to emboss that in black embossing powder. So the stamp is from the Flower Friend stamp set from Sanity Stamp. So we're going to start with the Hell Spring. Like that. Then I'm going to put some black embossing powder on that. I have done as many others do and I put my embossing powder into these plastic container which makes it so much easier to apply and remove so you don't have any sprays anywhere else like that then I'm going to stamp uh, some flowers and leaves outlines from the like your style stamp set but first I'm gonna take a couple of these leaves so I know where to stamp so this is how it, the gilded ended up. And I'm just gonna use the three over here and use the other ones some other day on other projects. So I carefully just cut it out like that. So I have them like this. And I think I'm gonna put them just, just over the corner like that. And now I have to kind of fill in with these stamps where I'm going to put 
put the other ones, the flower and the leaves. So I just take my stamp with Bertha Mark ink. Then I'm gonna put my flower in that corner. And then I'm gonna take my leaf. The leaves. I just put them a little bit randomly onto this puzzle piece. I kind of like that way. So I have about the, where I want them. So I move that out of the way. Now I'm going to use some gold embossing powder. And I'm using Sing. Sing gold embossing powder. Yep. Because I really, really like it. Um, what I have to do is pick up my little piece and just fill in those stamped leaves with some of that. And then just like that and I have my leaves and my flowers and there are uh, don't you slow to see it when it melts I think it's the most amazing thing actually now we're just gonna put the leaves on this and embellish it with some pearls and we're actually done I'm gonna use some glossy accents on the leaf because I want it to stick quite well um, deciding how much I need to put and where to put the, like that then I'm gonna use my tweezers just like that So, that's the leaves. Now I have one little thing I'm going to use. I'm going to use these small beads. I don't have that many left, but I'm going to use the ones I have. And I'm going to use my little... Because this is the easiest tool I have. I can't cut paper with it anymore, but I can do this. So I'm going to put some small beads around in different places where I think they would fit. I like like placing them on, on the corners of the leaves. I don't know, I think it looks quite cute. I'm gonna use one of those in the middle of the flower. And then I like to cover the end of the kind of branch here. And the last one, like this. Now, I made this puzzle piece because it is Autism Awareness Month in April. And you can look at a person with autism as a puzzle piece that don't fully fit. You can win this puzzle piece if you want to. Just be a subscriber and comment on this video. And in two weeks time, I will draw a winner. Have a very wonderful day and I see you later. Bye!